Hi everyone. If you've been following the Russiagate story closely as I have, or you've been following this channel or channels like it that have been covering this story in depth, you'll have no doubt heard of Prop or Not. Now, just as a refresher, Prop or Not were this shady organization that nobody really had heard of uh, until the Washington Post published this story. This is back in 2016 about this organization, Prop or Not, that had just come out and said these organizations, these publications are pushing Russian propaganda. And there was just loads of websites on there you would expect, like Infowars, um, but there were others on there that you wouldn't expect, like Global Research and uh, Alternet, and there were some really great organizations on there that they labeled it. They just smeared people as Russian propagandists, and they pretty much disappeared after that. They've been around ever since, but they're making a comeback, and I've noticed that they've started to be a hell of a lot more um, active on Twitter. I tweeted this out a few days ago. CNN staff, Prime Minister's having a bad day. Worst vote loss in history. This is just after Theresa May lost her vote. What shall we write as the headline? Jeff Zucker, stick to protocol, as always, blame Putin. So as you can see there, they've blamed Putin for the bad day that the United Kingdom and I suppose you know, the US had as well because of the shutdown. Now, I know that's nothing to do with this story, but underneath there was this reply from KMM9973. And he said this, UK column are reporting it today, saying that they have been informed by 21 Wire, which is Patrick Hennigson, great guy, Vanessa Beely and UK column will be some of the alternative media targets for this shady operation. Assume Integrity Initiative and Prop or Not and Statecraft are the new editors involved. And Prop or Not replied, we're right, so we're winning. It looks like they're getting involved in this. Now, whether it's because they've been tagged in it, I don't know, but it does look like they've been getting involved in it because not long after they tweeted this out. As you're reading this, please note that the following are tropes, slurs, primarily used by Russian propaganda. So if you use any of these words, bear in mind you're, you're, you could be a Russian propagandist if you say neocon, neoliberal, Zionist, corporatist, warmonger, Rothschild, imperialist, and establishment. I don't use the word Rothschild very much, but the other ones I pretty much use every single day. So anybody essentially talking about those three, those things, which are the main things that are wrong in the world, apparently you're a Russian, uh, you're a Russian propagandist. And you can see there who he's tweeting. Can we, Conspirator O. Conspirator O is the integrity initiative sock puppet account that I have been talking about recently who's been compiling all these graphs and outing all these truth tellers as Russian propagandists um, and one of the things that I they tweeted out I've showed you this in a previous video is this um, of all the people who are using uh, the words uh, neoconservative or neoliberal or variations of them Jimmy Dawes on there Alan Mate's on there Jack Posobiec's on there um, Benjamin Norton's on there in 56, you know, the, the journalists, basically. I know in 56, 56 isn't a journalist, but he covers things like a journalist on, on Twitter um, and mentions their words, obviously, in almost every tweet by the look of it. Um, so that's what they're doing. If you're using neoconservative or neoliberal on Twitter, according to Prop or Not and in the Integrity Initiative now, uh, the Integrity Initiative and now by proxy Prop or Not, you may well be a Russian propagandist, according to this organization. It's pathetic, I know, but this is what this is how they are using these organizations that nobody's ever heard of before um, as factful, you know, um, organizations that are trustworthy and have a huge track record. Now, if you go to that article, you can see there as an editor's note right at the very top because of the flack that they came in for, for that article. They came up with a load of flack and they had to respond to it for using an organization that nobody has ever, had ever heard of before. But nevertheless, hey, it followed the got to blame everything on Putin philosophy that the Washington Post have. So they printed it anyway. <laughs> Washington Post. So yeah, um, look out for that in the future. Prop or not, are using integrity initiative stuff 
um, and it looks like they're ganging up on independent media. No doubt they'll come for me soon. By the way, look at that. Washington Post. Democracy dies in darkness. <laughs> yeah, it does. Washington Post. Democracy does die in, di die in darkness. And you help turn out the lights. Thanks very much. To support truly honest, independent journalism like this, please go to patreon.com forward slash Gordon Dimmock. You can become a patron of mine for as little as a dollar a month and every dollar helps. I cannot stress that enough. We can't do this without you. Also, you can use any of the avenues on your screen right now to donate or below. There are many of them. Please make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day, so please make sure you are and click that bell as well so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. Thanks very much for your support. Until next time, peace and take care.